Panda, 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 panda. I got broads in Atlanta, just with the lean in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Way and see, look like a panda. Going out like a Montana. Honey killers on the hands. Alright, what's up, YouTube? Lace Locks here. Today I'm going to be starting a new series called. What should we call it? Let's call it. Sneaker Story Saturday. I don't know. Hashtag SSS. If you're watching this, comment down below. Hashtag SSS. But anyways, today I'm going to tell y'all about how I got robbed, man. Yes. I got robbed. And this was... Hold up. Alright, anyways. We like mid argument right now, so y'all probably gonna be hearing my phone vibrate a lot. But anyways, alright, so this is how I got robbed. And I actually got robbed through an app called OfferUp. And man, I have had like oh like well over a hundred deals through OfferUp. But this one time I was supposed to have a deal and the dude had already flaked on me like a week before. And I I seen his deal, I got reposted. He didn't really flake on me. We never we never came up with a time we was gonna meet or anything. So I guess he didn't really flake on me, but like to me he flaked because he knew I wanted him and it was cash ready and he wasn't trying to get it taken care of. But anyways, so we came up with a conclusion of a deal. He was like, I bet I'm gonna come around there a little bit later. And I always use another address because I'm scared and I don't give people my address. So I use the address of this house that nobody live at, like a few houses down. So I give him the address or whatever. And he like, he like, alright, cool. I'm gonna come after me and the fam are down in Atlanta. He talking about downtown Atlanta. Y'all didn't know me now. I live in Atlanta, but it's like suburbs, McDonald's. So I'm like, I'm like, nah, you gonna have to come now. And I gave him some BS reason why he had to come now, but really I just wanted to get the deal taken care of because I already be sketched out. I just don't be trusting people. We came to the conclusion we're gonna do the deal. I'm like, alright, cool. So he like, I'm gonna just come now. He was like, I'll just meet them up there later. They gonna let me have a car. I'm like, alright, cool. So I'm thinking everything cool, right? So he get here, it took him like an hour. He came to the wrong address at first, some apartments, then he, I told him where to go, so he came here. And then he had the house, and to start the thing off, this this was the first sign, y'all. Now I'm slow for this. He was in the passenger seat, and somebody else was driving, like another kid, though. That's what made me wave it off, because it was another kid. I'm like, it's probably just one of his homies, you know what I'm saying? That was the first thing. Then he was like, he was facing this way. No, he was facing, he was facing this way. Then he he was like, before we could do the deal, he was like, give me a second, let me park real quick. So he like, and he in the passenger seat, mind you, so the other dude is doing the driving. So he like drives into somebody's driveway, turns around, and parks again. And then he was back facing this way. Like I thought he was gonna just stay in the driveway, and I was like, this don't make sense. But then he started facing back this way, like down the street, like the long way down the street. So I waved that off too because I'm just like, well, he already here. The whole time he's doing this, I see the box in his hands and stuff. So I'm like, I'm just constantly waving off the signs, y'all. Like, I don't, I'm crazy for this. So I finally go to the window. He's showing me the shoes and stuff. I still ain't pulled the money out. I ain't even have no wallet or nothing with me. I had the money like rolled up and in my sock. And I always do that just in case something go off so they can't just straight rob me. I'm an idiot, so we gonna get to this. He was like, yeah man, I just sold some KDs last weekend. And old boy gave me some fake money. Like I went and tried to put it on my card and the ATM wouldn't take it. And I went to another ATM and it wouldn't take it either. So they gave me some fake money. I was like, yeah, you for real? He was like, yes, they gave me some fake money. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, he was like, your money not fake, right? Like he was like, please tell me your money not fake. I'm like, nah, my money not fake. My funny, my money cool. You can check my rating and everything off for up. He was like, yeah. When I talk to the bank or whatever, cause they keep track of when you put, when they reject your money, they keep track of that. So apparently they called him and they told him why they had didn't take it because it was counterfeit and how to be able to tell. So he gave me this whole background story, right? So he finished telling me the story and he like, um, he was like, yeah, man. So. He was like, do you mind if I check it real quick? And uh, mind you, like, we've been talking for like 10 minutes. It's, I'm like leaned in the van and everything. It's like a mint, like a family van, not like the murder rapist van. It's like a normal van, a little tan van. He's like, you mind if I check it? I'm, I'm really not tripping. Like, literally, I, I be having so many deals. I used to. I don't do it no more because I'd be scared. But I used to have so many deals. So, 
the dude like, you mind if I check it? I'm like, nah, I ain't tripping. I was like, nah, you can check it. And I'm leaning in the car while he checking. Like, he counting and stuff. Dude go, he go 20, 40, and as soon as he make the S sound for the 60, dude that driving punches the gap. Like, he he floors it, bro. So, he floors it, and I'm, mind you, I'm still, like, leaning in the window. And I'm, like, trying to pull the box. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I thought I was just going to be super negative. But I'm literally holding the box as they are flooring it down the street. Like, we go, like, three houses far. And I'm still, like, yanking the box and everything. And right when I almost had a grip on it, like, I had two hands on it. And I'm, like, turning out of the car like this. Mind you, I'm in my slide. Flying down the street. I'm in some slides. Not even around the shoes. And I'm turning like this with the box. And the dude, like, puts both his arms like this. And he, like, slams on the box. He just, like, slams on it. So he, like, get back control of it. And then the dude that's driving jerks the car to the left. And it like made me like fly like fly out the window a little bit. Like I was in the window a little bit, but when he did that, it's like I don't know, the car just like moves from where I could be on it. So I like I like basically fall out the window of the car. And the dude's still flowing it down the street. Now let me tell y'all, this is how crazy I am. I don't tell either my parents about any of the deals I be doing. I don't be telling them nothing because they don't really like Anyway, they don't really like when I be doing deals and stuff like that. That's like my main little hustle, like custom and restoring shoes and flipping them and selling them again. That's my main hustle because, I mean, I don't have a job and I don't really want a job. So, like, that's really how I be making my money. I didn't tell either of them. I get back to the house. I get on the phone to me. I'm like, oh, my God, you won't believe it. I just got robbed. Like, my voice shaking. I'm about to cry. I'm so scared. I was like, so, like, anybody that's ever been robbed, you know the feeling, bro. Like, that's a whole nother level of scare. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking. Like, my hands are shaking. And my next dude, then my next person I was going to buy something from, some alternate. Matter of fact, I clean them alternates up. In the video, I'll leave a car at one of these corners. But, yeah, the alternates, some alternate fours. My next dude that I was going to buy some shoes from was selling me the alternate fours. And he was so, like, literally people be coming so back to back. The dude seen me get robbed. Like, my next dude I was going to buy from, the next dude I was going to buy from, seen the dude, like, skirt off with me in the window and all that he was like bro you should have told me what you was doing he was like if i would have known that's what happened we could have went and got them like i would have helped you because he in the car way nicer car red bmw he like he was like we could i was like i ain't even think to do none of that because i'm like man you just a suspect of them to me at this point like i don't trust nobody right now so i'm like yeah you saying all this but i'm like so i was like so what's up so he sent me the shoes or whatever now this is the crazy part this one it got bad like three months go by something crazy like that i get in the car hold on all right so like three months go by or something crazy like that and my dad picking me up from a vet's meeting i'm in this vex robotics club so he's picking me up from one of our meetings after school and he just acting weird like the first sign that threw me off was my stepmom was in the car with him to come pick me up i'm like what are y'all like y'all must be having a real good day I was like, so she was in the car with him to pick me up. So they picked me up or whatever. And then, like, he just acting real weird. I'm like, I'm like, so I'm trying to, like, usually I don't be trying to have no conversation because I'd be irritated and tired by the time I get out of school. And that's just, my pop's not the type of person you want to be irritated and tired with. So I just try to keep it real short. He, he acting, like, weird. I don't know. He was just acting weird. Like, it seemed like he was looking at me out of the corner of his eye and stuff. And I'm like, like, what is going on? So I asked him, I was like, yeah, y'all must have had a real good day today, huh? And then I, I put him, put some pressure on him, like, y'all must have had a real good day today, huh? And I'm looking at him, like, waiting for him to respond. He was like, uh, oh, yeah, we had we had a pretty normal day. I'm like, okay. So he told me he had a pretty normal day. And he was like, I was watching Vice today, son, and it had me worried. I was like, what's that? He told me about what the show is or whatever. And he makes up this foo-foo story. How many kids? Get murdered every year behind sneaker steals and trades and stuff like that. How people be getting murdered and robbed and stuff. And I'm like, uh, okay. So he like, yeah, none of that ever happened to you though, right? And mind you, he driving, so he he left like that suspension like that as he driving. He was like, none of that ever happened to you, right? And I was like, I literally told like three people. So there was in my head, there was no way in the world that this had got back to pop. I'm like, nah, that never happened. And I do, I like, I promise y'all. Quote me on this. I do not be lying to my dad. Because I just go ahead and tell him the truth. Nine times out of ten, he either already know or he going to figure it out. But this, I was so sure about it. And I was so scared to tell him. Because he he will, like, lose his mind over something like that. Like, if I would have told him right when it happened, we would have been looking for the people. Like, I got that type of dad. So, anyways, I don't tell him. So, he, like, he asked me again. He was, like, he telling me some more statistics and stuff. He, like, you sure none of that ever happened? 
I was like, no, nah, none of that ever happened to me. I was like, and he asked me again. I was like, yeah, none, none of that ever. I mean, I, I lost a couple of trades and deals and stuff. People been sending me pictures, and the shoes look better on camera, but never just straight up robbed or killed or nothing crazy like that. So he's like, oh, okay, cool. So we get to the house, and I'm eating my snack. You know, the after school snack, typical kid after school snack. I'm eating my little typical kid after school snack, and pops come out of the garage into the kitchen and was like, he's like, so the police came by today. I'm like. He like, yeah man, the police came by today and they was doing a, a background investigation going back to all the victims that somebody had robbed and basically letting them know that the people have been caught. And at this point, like, my mouth just, like, I'm literally like, just looking at him like, <laughs> man, I was like, God, I didn't got, not only caught that I was dishonest and didn't tell him when it happened, but I didn't got caught in a lie. And then he was like, he was like, yeah, so the police talking bad about me, talking about you don't know what's going on with your kid and all of that. And then come to find out, he was right. Like, my kid didn't even, wasn't even honest with me about it. Not only did you not tell me about it, but when I asked you about it, you still didn't. So he applying pressure. He telling me about how he can't trust me, yada, yada. It's horrible. This was like, like three days before my birthday. But yeah, man, more of the story is, for one, if you're going to do a deal or something like that with a sneaker, sneak or something. Find some, if they don't have a rating on offer up or if they don't have a rating on Craigslist, find some way to find out something about them. Have them send you a picture of their ID. That's what I've been doing lately. Like have them send you a picture and a driver's license or a state ID or something. Not that. Have somebody with you. Like don't just go by yourself and get played like I did. Like just be smarter about it. And if you see signs, like don't be scared to throw a deal off. Like if you see something that just bug you out and it spook you, don't be scared to just tell the dude, never mind. You know, it's better safe than sorry. Like, I only got, I only lost $90, but I'm driving down, I'm in the street, hanging out the window with the people driving. Like, it could have been my life. Like, this could have turned into something serious like that, even though it was already serious. So, moral of the story, man, just be safer than I was. Play it, pay a little bit more attention than I did. And it have somebody with you. Like, all of that stuff, any of that stuff could have saved me. Because all my friends already don't be trusting me. So, they be telling me not to do it. Like, anything could have saved me. It was just, the, like, he picked the perfect day to get over on me, and it just played out in his favor. But, yeah, man, that's it for this story. Next week, I'm going to have another story for y'all. And I'm going to try to do this every week as long as school don't get in the way. Hopefully, it doesn't. I'm going to stay on top of my work this year. But yeah, man, I guess that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this story time. If you did, leave a like down below. Comment if you want to let me know something. If you want to call me stupid because I deserve it, go ahead and say Lace Live. That was stupid. Drop down in the comments whatever you got to say. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, man, I guess that's it. Lace Live's tuning in. Tuning out. Peace.